Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly and I'm gonna try and keep my voice a little bit hushed, although I did immediately start this with a half shout, as I am currently moored up in Wixall Marina, as tomorrow Tilly is coming out of the water and heading into the dry dock to have the hull blacked and have the engine repaired, so hopefully that's all gonna go well over the next couple of days. Through the miracle of editing, here we are looking out across Wixel Marina as the sun was starting to dip in the sky. What an absolutely beautiful and tranquil place this was, I can tell you that much. Apart from some crows that were kicking off, which we'll just ignore at 5am in the morning. But you can see here Tilly's being dragged backwards into the dry dock. Very low clearance there, so watch your head. And also deflate the kayak a little bit so it could just about fit. And you'll notice that as the water's being pumped out of the dry dock here, it's going at an extremely slow rate. I think there was only two out of four pumps going. But basically, before Tilly went in the dry dock, I'd been running around in the morning putting all of my fragile items, plates, crockery, glasses and things like that, and wrapping them them all up in blankets and sheets and then wedging stuff against the cupboard doors so that if there was any wild uh, rocking around as the water was being pumped out then uh, there would hopefully be no breakages but I definitely overestimated how rough a process it would be and I just wanted to throw these little still clips in here these really are videos not actual photos just to show you how slow the water level dropped and how much of a gentle well you can see from this particular clip that you can't really even see the water level dropping it was going so slowly so the actual dropping onto uh, the dry dock props here and you can see that because Tilly's got a slight V bottom you've got these railway sleepers each side just to keep her nice and level and nice and straight and hold her in position so she's not like a weeble wobbling left right and centre and really like I say my panic and worry about anything spilling over in the cupboards and breaking and that was definitely well over uh, an overreaction in my usual way an obsessive panic over nothing now that she's completely out of the water you can see that there's a lot more boats that you can't see normally especially when the canal's murky and muddy as it is through most of the summer but it's quite interesting in a second we'll get down there and have a look underneath and just see the general shape of the boat underneath the deck here and the basically it's called the swim where the bottom part of the boat you can see just there starts to cut away and go in towards the middle so that water can flow over the propeller but there's definitely a it's a much taller looking tilly when she's not in the water I'll say that much and one of the things that I thought was quite interesting was how the sides and that and the general front part of the boat looks very much in relatively decent condition not that I really know what I'm looking at but here firstly when I say about the engine repairs and it'll come as no surprise what I'm referring to is this leaking pipe and you might see the water just dripping down there but that's basically the cooling pipe that runs under the boat from the engine which has been leaking on and off for a long time so that's been patched up it does really need the whole pipe replacing for a proper fix but we'll worry about that sometime in the future for now I'm happy that it's going and if we zoom in in just a second so we can have a slow motion close up of the drip 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 out of the hole in the pipe and for anybody who's followed my videos you'll know this has been a great annoyance to myself and many people watching as why won't I just get it fixed well now it's patched up for a while at least and I just wanted to say going back to what I started to say about five minutes ago in this video even though the front of the boat looks in relatively decent condition the area around the propeller where obviously the propellers knocking sticks and maybe stones and other debris up and around into the paintwork is obviously a lot rustier and I'm assuming that's from the general disturbed water and things hitting against the paintwork and here she is back out of the dry dock looking rather nice so I suppose on that note I'll say thanks for watching check out my other videos and subscribe for loads more boaty stuff I've got more documentaries and short films coming in the future as well for people who've been asking me when I'm going to have more feel free to check out my boaty books for the kindle nice and short reads just search amazon for the narrowboat lad or find links to all my books in the description Feel free also to add me on Facebook, like the Facebook page, Twitter, all that sort of stuff. But until the next time, keep it boatworthy, have a fantastic day and farewell.